Hey there and very welcome to this video. In this video, we will be crawling Ankur Variku's website and we will crawl the same details we uh, scraped in the scraping video of Ankur Variku. So if you haven't watched, you can go ahead and watch that video as well. Alright, and without wasting any more time, let's start this video by creating a folder named Variku. Right, and then let's open this folder by opening it in command prompt and typing code space dot okay after that the next step will be that um, we'll be opening scrapey's documentation so you know what i'll open one more desktop and uh, we'll go to scrapey documentation let's go to scrapey's documentation and uh, close this open editors and let's go here and see how we can do things so to create a project we have to do something like this in our terminal let's open the terminal and do scrapey start project but not tutorial after scrapey start project you have to write the name of your second folder so let's name this variku as well and as you can see a folder named variku is created and inside of that another variku is uh, another folder variku is created and if you open it there is one more folder named spider so you have to open this as well and make a file under the spider folder and you can name this um, and yeah by the way you also have to name uh, it something which you have not used in your previous crawling projects right and if you use the same name you will face some problems so i'll be naming this variku.py and i'll take this powershell here and after that by doing cd variku we'll get inside of this variku folder so let's do cd variku and now we are inside the variku folder and after that let's see what we have to do so yeah this is a code if we copy this code and paste it right here and uh, rip and by the way replace this codes with the name of your file you've created so file you've created not folder by the way so i have created a file in variku.py so i'm giving your variku and here you have to give the URL of the website you want to crawl. So let's go to Ankur.com, right? Ankurvariku.com. And let's copy this URL and paste it right here. Paste it right here and remove this URL because we don't want to save that URL. And uh, yeah. Okay, so after that, let's. Uh, yeah, by the way, what this dev parse will do is that it will save. Uh, all the html content of this url into a file right into a file name and we can name this file anything you know what let's name this file uncode.html only right remove this uh, f string and now to run it by the way to run it you don't have to click here you have to go to your powershell and do scrapey crawl and then the name of the folder uh, file i mean so let's do scrapey crawl variku and as you can see we have run this code let's wait for the output and yeah as you can see here is a html content of that url all right you can also open it uh, not open it you can also um paste this html code in this file prettified right you can prettify this code as well but I'll be not getting into that in this video. All right. So after we've uh, saved the HTML content in this file, let's remove all this because we don't we don't want to now uh, do that. We want to do something else. And yeah, I'm removing this from path layer before path as well because we have no work of that. And let's start our um, scraping. All right. So firstly what we have to parse we'll check so let's give pass for now and let's go to google then replet my refers and let's check ankur variku so this is the uh, scraping file all right so in here i'm seeing what i've scraped so i've scraped this much thing so firstly i've printed ankur variku's website data then i've printed who is ankur variku then what is Ankur Variku? So he's an entrepreneur, content creator, author, and an investor. Then I've printed all his um, social medias with his link. Not printed, but saved in a file named Ankur.html. So we'll be doing 
that only all right but probably we'll change the name of this file because we've already named a file a code.html all right so okay let's first print this for now we save this in a file but let's for now only print it all right let's print this and after this let's print this my bad here and now let's start our main thing all right let's you know what um, uh, let's do something like this yeah so let's see yeah so we have to uh, scrape or crawl whatever you say these four titles all right so we have to get, to get this entrepreneur content creator author and investor so for that let's go ahead and inspect mm, all right so if you see there must be a div tag all right okay so there is a div tag but not this yeah div this div tag so under this div tag we have all the things we want to scrape or there are also matlab, there are all the things that can be scraped right and all those things are under this div tag this elementor widget container div tag so let's make cards all right and i'm making these cards because this div with this class is with all the uh, you know boxes so if you see here there is another div class with the same class in here all right there is also the same div tag in here as well and there is also the same div tag in here also so i'm doing this card so that it can apply to all the boxes right this box and this box and this box and this box so let's copy the class go in here and say response dot css and div tag with this class all right then let's get inside of th those boxes individually so we'll do for card in cards and after that what we do is that we scrape the titles or whatever you say so let's name this titles and then let's see where is our entrepreneur present uh, uh, so our entrepreneur is closed in an h3 tag in an h3 tag with this class and under that h3 tag we have a span tag and under that span tag we finally have our entrepreneur all right so let's know what uh go ahead and search for this h3 tag first so let's do card.css so we'll be getting inside of card and after getting inside of card we'll search for a, a h3 tag with this class all right and uh, we'll get inside of that h3 tag and we'll get the span tag and from the span tag we'll get the text of the span tag so by doing this okay so if we don't do this Right. If we don't do this, we'll only get the span tag. We'll get the whole span tag. We'll get this this span, then entrepreneur, then this closing tag. So if we want to only get the entrepreneur, the text, so we have to do this. Alright, to get the text inside of that span tag. And after that, we'll simply do get to get that to get those properties. Alright. And let's go ahead and print titles only. And let's see what we get. okay so we're getting nuns but we get we got this entrepreneur content creator author investor so we got a desired output also with the desired output we get this much nuns so to avoid these nuns what we can do is that um we can do if titles is not none if titles is not none then only print titles and by doing this, I hope this problem gets resolved. Uh, yeah, as you can see, and I don't know why I'm not able to do this dot strip. There must be some problem or what? I don't know. Um. Okay, so we have done. We have used the strip method also. So I hope you understood what the strip method did. Right, it removed all the spaces. As you can see, if we scroll up, there are many spaces between our prints, right? And if you see here, there are no spaces. All right, so we got it. Now let's do what? As we got our um, titles, let's inspect. 
the other things we need to crawl or scrape so um, if you see here we have another div tag with elementor icon box wrapper right but uh, we actually don't want it we want um do we want this elementor no we don't want this as well mm. Okay, so there is a h3 tag with um, div tag with icon box content yeah so we want this div tag right because if you see under this div tag we have all the details we need we have this text and we have this link as well all right and this will be uh, this will be same with all the boxes as well so if you see here instagram there is a div tag also if you see twitter there is a div tag also with the same class by the way and this will be remain same for all the other links as well spotify links and facebook so for now let's go ahead for youtube and copy this div class and make another thing something like class uh, cards I mean, okay so let's name this social cards so let's name this social cards and response.css div tag with this class all right and then after that what we'll be doing is that we'll be doing the same thing for social card in social cards do what is that um i want to get the text first so for that what we can do is that um you know what let me first inspect and see so we'll firstly have to get inside of the a tag and once we're inside of the a tag you can easily get the text of that a tag and that's it as well all right so let's name a variable named a tag and let's get inside the a tag right and to get inside of the a tag we'll firstly do social card dot css if you're wanting what is social card so social card is basically this div tag right this whole div tag all right this box this box is basically social card so let's first get inside of the social card with the s3 tag and um not actually s3 tag we can directly get inside of the a tag right because there is only a single a tag in this box right and we can simply do this to get the text of it which is youtube all right so we should get the text so now if we print a tag if we print a tag we should get what we want um we should get youtube instagram spotify uh okay we have this but this is uh of another type maybe we have to do something like this right here and now i'm pretty sure if i run this graphic crawl variable we'll get what we want yeah as you can see we got what we wanted but with some nuns and with spaces as well so you know what we can do to the spaces we can simply do the start step to remove the spaces and we can do the same if a tag is not none then only print a tag scrappy crawl variable and yeah as you can see the nuns are no more and the spaces are also no more so we got the text and now we get the href all right so we'll name this href only we'll okay we'll you know what copy it and paste it and inside of the a tag we don't want the text but we want the href how can we get the href so yeah following links so if you see here we can get the href by doing something like this so let's copy this and paste it right here and we'll get the href yeah and uh, you know what print the href as well so yeah you can see we got all the hrefs as well now what we have to do is just we have to arrange it okay so let's arrange how we want to print things all right so 
um, you know what what we can do is that we can do something like i is equal to one and we can name this new titles and new titles will be titles not titles we'll firstly use the f string we'll use i then dot and then we'll use titles dot strip all right then we'll use titles dot strip and then what we'll do is that we'll simply print new titles and let's comment out these two for now and pass this to avoid the error and let's go ahead and try to run it case okay, my bad i copied this z okay oh yeah my bad i didn't do, do, did this i i plus equals to one which basically means i which basically means i is equal to i plus one right you have to do this so to every time okay so let me explain it right i is one for now then then i gets printed as one all right then it's printed get uh, as one then the value of i increases to do because i is equal to i plus one and i values is one so one plus one is two so now the value is two so now the value will be two all right then the it will get printed as two then the uh, value of i will increase to three then the value will increase to three then it will get printed as three then four then five and just like that it will get printed all right so let's now remove this and run this again and yeah we got what we wanted entrepreneur content creator author and investor then then what we'll do is that we'll do social output is equal to we'll use an f string and firstly we'll copy this all right and then space and dash and then simply href and let's remove all this and print my word let's go ahead and print social output all right and this should give us our desired output because a tag dot strip is basically the name of the social medias a tag dot strip is basically youtube instagram twitter spotify linkedin and facebook and the href is the href href is the link right so yeah i hope this should work now let's go ahead and copy this and paste it and run it but let me remove this z and run this uh, okay we faced some error and the error was this okay we can't do this okay so you know what we can do uh, that only we can create a new a underscore tag and we can do a tag dot strip but we don't have to do it here we have to do it here and the code should work fine and also we have to name this i mean we have to do something like this after if a tag is not done all right and now it should work let me let me do scrapey crawl worry and yeah as you can see we got what we wanted ankur variko's website data who is ankur variko one entrepreneur two content creator three author four investor and we got all the uh, social medias with their respective links as you can see youtube instagram twitter spotify linkedin facebook so now we just have one job and that and that job is that we have to save all these details in a file so let's do with open let's name this variku dot html let's open this in append mode um in append mode as f and let's not um print it but let's just write it right here all right and then again f dot write and write it here all right my word copy it and paste it right here remove the print statements this should write these two things in variku.html then again let's copy this and paste it right here and do f dot write and in f dot write we'll simply write this new titles 
what we were printing we'll just write it all right okay so let's copy this one more time this final time let's do this let's do this let's do this and finally let's do this all right and i hope this should work and yeah, also we have to do one more thing is that we have to give backslash n here then again backslash n here then um let's you know what make it a string all right and let's give a backslash n here as well now um okay let's make this a string as well and let's give backslash n here probably as well actually you know what we don't want and um, backslash n here this should do the job i guess so let's do scrapey crawl variku and let's hope for the best and you can see variku.html is created so let's click and see if you got what you wanted okay so angkor variku website data with angkor variku and okay so we got close to what we wanted we got all the social media with their name and links but we didn't wanted it in the same line we wanted to make new lines so we have to do backslash n right here that means and let's delete this file variku.html for now and run this again scrape equal variku and again let's see and yeah we got what we wanted we got the same things we got earlier by scraping we got it by crawling right so i hope you like this video if you like make sure to like this video and subscribe this channel for amazing quotes like this in the next video of this series we'll be web crawling ishan sharma's um website right we'll be crawling the same things we scraped in the previous ishan sharma's data scraping video so if you don't want to miss that please subscribe this channel and if you want to work with me you can definitely work with me every detail of me is in the description of this video you can go ahead and check that out as well and i'll meet you in the next video till then bye